right, today is the day I get to fix the weakest link on my car, and that is the transmission. So there's tons of swap options for these Lexus IS300s. A lot of people go with the T56 Magnum. Some people go with the CD09 350Z transmission. Um, but I'm actually going with an AR5, which is like a Pontiac Solstice uh, Chevy Colorado transmission. So I picked one up last night, full swap kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the old W55, put in the new AR5 transmission, and hopefully I can run a little bit more boost and not be as scared drifting this thing. I'm pretty excited about it because this has been Probably the biggest reason why I don't drift my car as much is because I'm afraid to break that W55. So the W55 is rated to about 300 horsepower before they give out and at high boost I'm at 450 horsepower so I'm way above that limit and I'm on borrowed time. This thing is gonna shatter like glass if I keep driving it like this. So I'm finally taking this W55 out of my car that I have been running like 300 plus horsepower for the past three four years. It's definitely holding me back from a lot more fun that I could be having with this thing because I am just deathly afraid of breaking this transmission and having to tow it back during an event, which would really suck. So this is probably my least favorite part about taking out a transmission on this car is disassembling all this dash stuff to remove the shifter and all the brackets around the shifter so that way the transmission can drop. I just hate taking interior stuff apart. So the car is on the lift. We're going to put it in the air and pull the old transmission out. So after inspecting this thing, it looks like I have a slight rear main seal leak, which I've already replaced it twice, but I ordered a new one anyways, just to be sure that we don't have that leak anymore. I'm gonna have to drop the exhaust, take out the drive shaft, remove the transmission, and slap in the new one. All right, I've spent the last hour and a half trying to take out one starter bolt that was seized on there, started rounding out, so I just decided to cut it off. And that's why I am covered in dirt and grease all over my face, but this transmission's coming out now, so let's go ahead and pull it. Alrighty, just pulled the transmission out. It's on the ground. And the pressure plate looks like it's in still, still in good shape. So I'm gonna take the pressure plate out, I'm gonna take the clutch disc out, take the flywheel out, clean everything up, put a new rear main seal on there, and slap the new transmission on. So now it's time to take out the old dual mass flywheel. This thing is super heavy. This is what the car came with. A lot of people swap them out with lightweight flywheels, but with the clutch setup I had, I needed the dual mass flywheel. So I had that resurfaced before, but now it's all coming out because I have a new flywheel and pressure plate and all that stuff for the new transmission. I had a little bit of a spill from the transmission on the floor. And now it's ah. super slick where I'm standing. So I got to be really careful ah. not to trip. Ah. Oh, that thing's heavy. This is the size difference between the two flywheels. This one's the new one, and that one's the old one. You can see this one has quite a bit less material. It's also more hollow on the inside, where this one is just full. This one's super easy to lift, and this guy is extremely heavy. So this is the new transmission I have. It's the AR5. It's got the JZX shifter housing, 1J bell housing, Got a new drive shaft, sprung action clutch. Um, this is an ACT or ACT, an NA Supra pressure plate. I'm gonna be using my W55 shifter because it fits on there. And it has a drift motion um, drive shaft adapter right here. I did order a drift motion pilot bearing and I'm gonna have to order the NA Supra flywheel bolts because they're a little bit shorter than the W55 one. My old clutch disc and pressure plate actually look like they're in pretty good shape still. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap all this stuff onto my other Lexus with the W55 on it because this was a really expensive setup and I probably have maybe a thousand miles on it. So it's still good. We'll still use it. Look at this shit. God. Dude, are you kidding me? Fresh paint. Why couldn't it be this car? Oh my god. Even
even the wheels they got. Bro, I can smell it. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean as much as much as I can down here because there was a massive oil leak. So I'm gonna pressure wash underneath and I'll come back here tomorrow and stab in that transmission. That's it for today guys. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps me grow my page so I can make more videos for you guys. I'm gonna do part two of this video next week when I get all the parts in for this car. I'm kind of learning how to do this swap myself. I'm not 100% sure everything is right, but if you have a question, just leave it in the comment below, or if you have a suggestion on what you've done on your AR5 swap, just let me know. Peace.